Now Scott Proctor will take over to pitch the seventh. 49 innings less than a hit per inning. Respectable earned run average. Scott really effective. But A-Rod bailed him out. Grounded to second. Cairo. One away. Put more pressure on Randy Johnson to give them a long outing tomorrow. High five ball down the left field line. Melky Cabrera in the corner makes the play for the second out. And the 0 2. He blew it right by him. 97 upstairs. And David Wright has the hat trick. He has struck out three straight times. So Scott Proctor said he wanted to finish the job, and he did as he retires the Mets in order one, two, three. At the end of six and a half innings of play, it's time for the seventh inning stretch here at Yankee Stadium. Yankees lead the Mets 2 nothing, and everybody here at the stadium stands to honor America as we will listen to God Bless America. Popped up. Going to be a tough play. Ray is back. Makes a nice play as he got a good jump and hauled it in. The 3-2. High five ball, deep right center, giving Chase Chavez, taking a zigzag route, and he hauls it in for the second out. Grounded to short. Reyes. And El Duque. Has thrown 109 pitches, and he works a 1-2-3 seventh inning. We take it to the eighth here at the stadium. It's the Yankees two, and the Mets nothing. <laughs> right field as the Yankees tighten up the defense, and Kyle Farnsworth takes over on the mound. A lot of strikeouts, and a lot of base runners. I, I think probably... Grounded to short. Jeter. One away. High pop-up. First base side. Phillips is there. Two down. You threw 98 when you got drafted. Grounded to short. And that'll do it. So a nice clean inning for Kyle Farnsworth, and he has been waiting for that. So El Duque knows that unless the Mets rally in the ninth inning, he's going to get a loss. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 2 nothing Yanks. Sanchez. He has been a godsend for the Met bullpen. Acquired in a trade from the Dodgers. And uh, Sanchez has been everything they could hope. 4-0. Way less than a hit per inning. Or in the right direction. Slice past the diving Franco. And up against the tar. It's going to kick out to right field. Jeter will go to second. He'll get himself a leadoff double. Jeter's two for four. Blew it right by him upstairs. And that's a big out for Sanchez because Jeter does not move the... Th Popped up. Castro behind the plate. And the goodwill lasted, oh, I don't know, two days. On Wednesday... The Yankees are one for 17 with runners in scoring position. That only base hit was Andy Phillips' RBI single in the fourth inning. Popped up. David Wright backpedals on the outfield grass. He'll put it away for the final out of the inning. So the Yankees waste the leadoff double by Jeter. No runs a hit, no errors, and two men left on base. We go to the ninth. Last licks coming up for the Mets, and they'll have to do it against Mariano Rivera. We played eight full innings here at Yankee Stadium. Yankees 2 8 and 1. The Mets 0 1 and 0. Moe comes on, tries to hold the Mets down. You find yourself getting caught up in the, uh, in the rhythm and the music when he comes in. That's. Uh... I can kind of make the hair stand up in the back of your neck sometime. There, there's one place in baseball that I, that it does that, and it's... Popped up. Jeter. Strike three. Yankees went out of way. 
And he chops it to short. Jeter, 360, fires, got him. And the Yankees win 2 to nothing. It's the fifth Yankees shutout of the season. It took five pitchers to do it, and five Yankee pitchers held the Mets to just one hit. And that one hit, Andy Chavez, a clean single to left field in the sixth. A pretty nifty play to finish it off. Jeter knows how fast Reyes is, so he's taking no time in making the pivot in the throw. And for the Mets, their first four-game losing streak of the season. And for the Yankees, a victory coupled with the Red Sox loss to the Marlins. And the Yankees cut the Red Sox lead to three in the American League East. A home run for Jason Giambi. That was in the first inning. That's all the Yankees needed, as it turns out. And then an RBI single by Andy Phillips in the fourth. And they survive a hour and three-minute rain delay. That cost them Mike Messina, but the bullpen did its job beautifully. So a 2-0 Yankee victory over the Mets, and the guy that gave the Yankees the lead for good, Jason Giambi, joins our very own Bobby Mercer right in front of the Yankee dugout.